what's up homies welcome back to the let us babe channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a missing persons case by the name of renard a jackson and when i tell you the lengths i had to go to to film this video it's i live in texas let us babe is based out of texas and it's been dark at like 4 30 in the afternoon like it seems so dark so early so i'm currently up at 8 30 trying to film this video while i have natural light and things look normal um so i hope it comes across that way like visually because the lighting has been so strange lately um like i said i'll be talking about renard a jackson uh this case is quite interesting because it's currently marked as a homicide um he did go missing but he was later found deceased so we'll talk about kind of the details within that case and let's just get started. As always, if you see me looking down at my computer, it's because I transcribed the entire story from beginning to end and I don't want to mess anything up. I don't want things to come across as if I didn't kind of prepare myself or I don't know any details. So I just like to be prepared. Renard A. Jackson was born January 1st, 1962 and he went missing November 26th, 2011 in Champaign, Illinois. Renard A. Jackson is described as an African-American male, darker complexion, he was approximately 6'1", 165 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, and he did not wear glasses or contacts. So initially on November 26, 2011, he was believed to have gone missing, but his family didn't put in a missing persons report until the 28th of that same month. And then he was later on found deceased on March 18th, 2012. So unlike other cases that I've done, I've normally done a lead up. We know that they're missing, we know kind of the outcome, or we may not know the outcome. This is kind of different because for a long time people assumed that he had just been missing or he maybe something had happened to him but they weren't particularly sure whereas this instance we know what's happened to him um, straight out the gate while I'm telling this story so I'm just going to talk about him as if we know the outcome if that makes sense. So let's just fill in the gaps and then we can talk about theories. Okay so Renard A. Jackson was last seen leaving his home on the 1500th block of Holly Hill Drive on November 26, 2011, and a family member reported seeing him leave his home around 2 p.m. that afternoon to run an errand. I later read that it was to pay a bill. The errand that he decided to run was within the 1100th block of North Prospect. It is so difficult for me to say 11th hundred or 1500th like I get tongue-tied um, and a lot of the streets that I've read off in the past are done this way so I, I'm gonna try to do my best to not mess it up. I believe in that same time period uh, someone turned in the contents of Renard's wallet. It was found on the curb in the area of the Hedge Road in Summerlin Lane which from what I've googled is really close to his home and like the proximity of his home um, and that'll come into play a little bit later so just hang tight on that. Following Renard's disappearance, Champaign County Coroner Dwayne Northrup said the fingerprints taken in the backyard of the home 1509 Hedge Road matched those of the then 49 year old Renard Jackson. Also, Detective Pat Funkhauser and Mark Strzezak worked on nothing but Renard's disappearance for a month straight. Seeing as it was out of character for Mr. Jackson to just disappear, they felt away because he was a primary caregiver for his disabled stepdaughter who was an adult and also had her own children. So for him to just up and leave as someone who took care of someone who was disabled is completely wild even for anybody, like not just Renard and his character, but for anyone. By this point, police were starting to believe that because of Renard's bicycle being found and the contents of his wallet being found in the area that this was potentially a homicide or something that insisted upon foul play. Sergeant Dave Griffith said there's a good possibility he didn't die on his own, but we don't know that. He also goes on to say his body was concealed in such a thorough manner that it was missed in two neighborhood canvases and by dogs trained to recognize the scent of cadavers. The dogs may have passed within 50 feet of the body. On March 18, 2012, Renard A. Jackson was found deceased in the backyard of 1509 Hedge Road Drive. 
Now this part, when I read reports about this, it seemed a little bit confusing, but I think once I talk to you guys about it, it won't, if that makes any sense. So it's believed that the area he was found in was somewhere he couldn't get to on his own, and the body was laying next to a shed in the owner's backyard. But I also read that that particular house of the backyard he was found in bordered the backyard of his former family home and that house was vacant. So basically the backyard that he was found in has been vacant for a very long time and it borders the home that he used to live in. So just to kind of clear that up, I guess, if something were to have happened to him at his home and someone like threw him over the fence and then covered his body up or if someone stashed his body in someone else's backyard because he was killed in like that general vicinity then I guess that would make sense but they're describing this body to be so well concealed under leaves and debris that they literally missed him for almost a year so I have no idea what happened I think that this case is very peculiar very kind of strange but I'm hoping that maybe in the future we'll find some more answers he did go missing in 2011 he was found in 2012 and we're now coming up on 2019 so about six to seven years he's been deceased so this is a doozy like honestly i don't know what happened to him and that's all i have for this case if you have any questions comments or concerns definitely comment them down below as well as check out my radio show checked in with Natura mcconnell if you want to have more of a conversational experience over music and i will talk to you guys next week peace